Here we have a rubber duck on a white background. We're going to eliminate the white background, make a second duck, and make a smart object. So you can see how smart objects are different than rasterized objects, plain rasterized objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the magic wand at a 32 tolerance. I'm going to delete the white background. On a PC, it's backspace. On a Mac, it's delete. And then I want to get rid of the marching ants. It was a tolerance of 32, by the way. I'm going to go under select delete. And then I need to make a copy of this duck. I'm going to use command J to make a copy of this duck. So I'll have two ducks. I'll have a smart duck and I'll have a dumb duck. Then I'm going to rename the ducks. The bottom one is going to be the dumb duck and the top one is going to be the smart duck. So now I have two ducks, but I need a bigger canvas. So we're also going to show you that here in this lesson. So I'm going to go up to image canvas size. Be sure you get canvas size. Change the width to 14 inches, which is pretty close. Click the arrow on the left, a little counterintuitive, but it puts the rest of the canvas on the right. Click OK. And then we'll have a canvas that will accommodate two ducks. Great. Now I'm going to hit the shift key and move one of the ducks to the right, the smart duck actually, to the right so we can see what happens with the two ducks together when they're transformed up and down. So the first thing I'm going to, or the second thing I'm going to do, or the third thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the top duck a smart duck. So uh, you can do it a couple ways, the flyout menu, can convert or layer smart objects, convert to smart object. There you go. Now we have this little area, this icon that shows it's a smart object. And if you double click that, you'll get inside of it, but we don't want to go there just yet. That'll be another lesson. So now we have two ducks. One's smart, one's dumb. I'm going to um, highlight both of them so I can free transform them simultaneously. And I'm going to grab a corner if you look up here, yes, look up here. I can do it by numbers. And I'm going to grab a corner and take them. And, and I'm also going to hold down the Option key, the Alt key on the PC, and drag them so they resize to the middle. So they get tiny and they go to the middle. So that's two keys. Shift keeps the aspect ratio. And the Option or Alt key makes it move from the middle out or the middle in. And then I'm going to hit the return key or the backspace on the PC. So now I'm going to click off of there because I only want to work on one duck at a time. I'm going to move the smart duck to the right, holding the shift key, and I'm going to move the dumb duck a little bit to the left. And I hold down the command key because I'm in the move tool and it'll immediately select whatever I hit. Whenever I click, that's manual select, not auto select. So I have two tiny ducks, and I'm going to bring them back to their original size. Now, the beauty of a smart duck is that when you go to resize it, if you look up at the numbers in the options bar, it's going to say pretty close to 20%. So it tells you what percentage you shrunk that duck, and it's very easy to get back to 100%. You can just type it in, or you can watch it while you resize it by hand. I'm going to click the chain, type in 100. Oh, actually, I'm not going to type in 100, I guess. Hold the Shift key and the Alt key or Option key on the Mac and bring it back to close to 100%. Now look at that duck. It's nice and crisp and clean and it never got degraded from moving to a tiny duck to back to 100%, which is great. And this is the advantage of using a smart object because now I'm going to do the same thing with the dumb duck. And first of all, when I go to free transform, 
the numbers say 100%. So basically, what happens is when it's rasterized object and not a smart object, it creates a new normal. So now 100% for this duck is that teeny weeny duck. Um, so when I go to make that duck back to its original size, I have to take it all the way up to almost 500%. I fortunately have the duck on the right as a guide to how big the original was. So here I go, I'm going to drag up this dumb duck and it's looking okay. I'm going to bring it over to the side a little bit. There you go. And then I'm going to hit the return key or the backspace key on the PC. And then I'm going to take the dumb duck and move it close to the smart duck so you can see just how degraded it became because it was not a smart object. So this is the smart object lesson to show you how to resize a smart object versus a rasterized object. Thank you.